Hello everybody, I'm Isabella from Pride Attire and we are having a bit of a private celebration for Martin and Lucas's 10th wedding anniversary at St Aldrey's Park and since we have a few prominent costumers here we thought we'll have a friendly archery competition uh, considering that none of us really have any archery practice done in the last year, 5, 15, 25 years it's going to be a fantastically boring footage I suppose <laughs> but we'll see, um, well let us introduce our guests Hello, <laughs> uh, I'm Nikki from the channel Liam uh, and I'm uh, going to shoot some arrows uh, Any shooting experience? Uh, just at Ferris, random, like maybe five arrows and quite a few yesterday. Yes, the day. I quite you had a bit of a practice. practice yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I got a I got a bow for my birthday last March from Elf, so I'm taking out first for a spin, um, which is lovely. Uh, I am Serena, and my channel is Dressing History. I think that I last actually attempted to do some archery about 15 years ago <laughs> when I was at school. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy, the Welsh Viking, and sometimes I shoot my friends with longbows. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. I do combat archery. <laughs> Quick Move question. On. Move on. Are these your friends? Should they be worried? Depends. <laughs> Depends on if they buy me more mulled cider or not. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's free. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm Melchior, I'm Nicky's partner, and uh, I'm joining in to shoot some arrows. Probably not at the squirrels. We have quite a lot of squirrels running behind. They're collecting nuts, so they're moving target, but we're trying not to hit them. So far, successfully. <laughs> the only thing that was successful. Well, you've been trying not to hit them, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're Tab going to shoot first. Squirrels. As the lady of. Oh. Yeah. So if I, you know, cock up, it's going to be my lady. Most asked. <laughs> well, we each have six arrows, and we'll see what's going to happen. It might be interesting, it might be not. And we see here, we approaching her mark. We are using a variety mark. of bows. Uh, that's my Victorian bow from... I forgot whom, but I will tag them in the, in the, in the comments. Um, and it's about 20, 25 pounds draw strength, so not very powerful. We also have um, a medieval style one, which is about 50 pounds, so we possibly will move a little bit further back for this one, because it's a little bit more power. But we'll see. You might want to move from the line of fire. It's like a bit of squirrel over there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Lucas, where's the commentary? Oh, well, she's on her mark now, drawing the string, and she looses the Artemis of Costumius. She pulls back the string, the arrow is knocked. She's wearing the correct attire. The party watches on in awe as the arrow leaps to the target and... Well, that's not dinner. Never mind, we'll try again. <laughs> An over-the-shoulder shot. Oh, oh, look. She's, the archer's paradox in action as the arrows flicker from left to right, up and down. How can she hit her mark? Annoying, actually. <laughs> yes, commentaries are annoying, aren't they? But don't let me put you off, dear. The last arrow. The last arrow. But the but where's the point? Where's the point? The <laughs> What's the point? What's the point? <laughs> and missed uh, completely. Next one, <laughs> Melchior. Okay. Yeah. A good showing. Let's. But. Okay, so I'm going a bit further. Close but no cigar. I'll feed you, you the arrows. The I'll feed mark. you the arrows. In a gentlemanly show of of. Chivalry, Melchior is standing several paces back from the mark. He's wielding a full 45 to 50 pound bow of medieval quality, rather than the Victorian bows hosted by the ladies. He draws, he looses. And we're going to have to go and look for that one for some time. I think it missed the squirrels, but we'll soon find out. Don't point that at me, please. Point that thing at me. This is not a crossbow. It goes the other way up, Melchior. You, you, you can tell he's new at this, but don't worry. Despite his sartorial elegance, archery is still new to him. Good line, elbow a little high. He drops it, and the annoying commentary continues. Oh, oh, very good, very good. Misses the apple, but nevertheless, a good well, shot. Whoever wins, we have to eat the apple, I suppose. <laughs> at least I have one on the target. 
Sorry. On the edge, but on the edge. Still. Living on the edge. Yeah. Need to insert an Aerosmith sound here. Aerosmith, I see what you did there. Mm -hmm. oh. a bit high. That was a little high. <laughs> Once again the squirrels are running for cover. You may have hit that chestnut tree. Don't think it's a protected species. Remember loose. Breathe. Oh, excellent, excellent. A splendid shot. Once again, I believe. The penultimate arrow. Almost there. Just going to show. Even if you're dressed properly. It's not going to affect your shooting. Oh, splendid. What an excellent shot. Into the blue. Between the blue and the black. I believe that's a three-pointer. The crowd watches on in awe. Or is that yawning? I can't tell. Oh, once again into the distance. The squirrels utterly unconcerned yeah. by this barrage of flight shafts. Nikki Liam moving to her mark. Ladies mark please. Splendid. Drawing her new bow, the birthday bow. For once the bows are in hand rather than on the outfits. Oh, and she's straight on target. Excellent shot. Look at that. Her eye is in. If you were hunting for dinner, we'd feed well tonight. Second on target. Splendid. Leading currently. Most shots on target. Nikki Lea. Sadly, loses one. Don't let the concentration falter. We know you've got this. They don't call her Dead Eye Liam for nothing. She's on target no matter what. Oh, Ooh, and the th a third, third, splendid, splendid. So close to that arrow. Remember, you hit it, you eat it. <laughs> uh, faulty equipment, faulty equipment. The judges step in, replace. Health and safety first, folks. Health and safety first. Don't try this at home. Placement error, obviously <laughs> inappropriate. Giving it the kiss of luck. Cupid's kiss. She breathes in. That zen-like moment before loosing. The arrow almost fumbled, but no, no, concentration's intense, and yet... Oh, so close. So, would you like to give us some commentary on what's just happened? Did you lose con... No, 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 I say it's fair enough. I'll feed you Jimmy, I understand that you've you've done some of this before, and you might want to say something about it. Splendid. That's enough. Off you go. <laughs> well, I, uh, I thought we did well. Thought we were a cracking team. You mentioned Cressy earlier. Was it a traumatic experience? Yeah. Well, I was on the wrong side of the battlefield. You see, I thought I was fighting the English, as a Welshman should. Well, quite, quite. Didn't go very well. Welsh and bows go together like. Well, peanut butter and jelly if you're American, or marmite and toast if you're English. That's going to Ah, you see, gloved up, arm bracer in place. Oh, and the 50 pound it bounced, off. Bow bounced yes. off. Did that one actually have a point? We don't know. <laughs> the judges may have to go in and rule on this. Could have been a, a mere dowel. a dowel with some feathers attached. Known as an arrow in England, but in Wales it would never pass muster. Have the shoulder shot. Do try and avoid that helicopter. <laughs> We've got licenses, room. Don't mention the license word. Oh, oh, so close, so close, so close. But yet, we're quite on target. To be fair, we all had a go yesterday, whereas Jimmy didn't have a chance to. So these constitute Jimmy's practice shots. This is his last arrow. Just imagine there's an Englishman at the other end of this range. <gasps> there you go, you see, you see, the killer instinct kicks in. Give you this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be a bullseye. I can feel it. It's a bullseye, but not the target we're aiming at. Never mind, never mind. Good choice. There was an Englishman back there, so don't worry, don't worry. He's 
He's, he's I'm sure with a quick trip to A and E, he'll be fine. He's bought a holiday house and left. <laughs> Not uncommon. <laughs> no. Oh, Any words, Serena? Get ready to see some true skill. Some true skill. Mm -hmm. Splendid. Yes. On target. On point. Yeah. Everyone's going to hit the bullseye. Oh. Do you need a stunning now they're moving the target around a little? <laughs> we all think that maybe she's a bit of a ringer. She's done this before and she's just not admitting to it. The squirrel is coming closer as well. The squirrel is still safe. Our concerns are allayed as the first is wide of the mark. She still the has five arrows. <laughs> Good form, good form. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Using the Cupid's bow once again. About a 20 pound pole. Appropriate for a lady of her station and standing. Oh, a little high, a little high. Do mind those squirrels. We were kidding about hors d'oeuvres dinner. They taste good, like chicken, but nutty. Again, close, but no cigar and direction. no dinner. That's for the first time in 15 years. At least it's coming off of the bow today. They're all going in the right general direction. This is a, an improvement upon yesterday when some of them didn't. Oh, perfect line, a little high, that's all. If, if that target had been standing 10 metres back, you'd have hit it dead centre. Now the problem is we didn't actually mark the arrows, so we don't really know whose one is. Uh, <laughs> oh, we need Nikki's. Oh, oh, once again, oh, splendid line, little well, high, let's, little let's high. Let's go and have a look and see how they've done. What do the judges think? Well, I have to say that they got very close indeed. You saw it here first, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Nikki Liam is a clear winner. Touching the goal, just taking the goal, missing the apple by a hair's breadth. Not that apples have hair, but there we go. Excellent. A splendid shot. You must have something to say about this. So the victor go the spoils. How do you feel about eating the apple? Um, anyone in for apple pie? Splendid. I think I'll just nip indoors and do that now. <laughs> Any other comments? Thank you very much for tuning in for a little bit of silliness and a beautiful place. The rest of the people are just looking at us and laughing. We are going to let them do some shooting and we will carefully remove ourselves from the target area. <laughs> and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> And thank you, Lucas, for commentary. Yeah. Oh, you're most welcome. I'm off now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who was using a shotgun? That's not fair. That's not cool. I won. I won. <laughs> oh. oh my god, someone hit Jimmy! Ah, call an ambulance! Remember me. I'll remember you. Remember me as an idiot <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>